In the Bible, the prophets Micah and Isaiah uh, say this. They say, God looks down and says, my people will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. And then nation will not rise up against nation and people will study war no more. It's this amazing vision of people beating their swords into plows, turning instruments of death into tools for peace and for life. And I love that vision so much so that we actually met some blacksmiths and some welders that were like, we're ready to do it. <laughs> so we started doing it. We invited people to donate weapons if they had them and they, and they you know, wanted to not see them used for, for death, but to see them converted you know, to something else. We turned an AK-47 into a rake and a shovel, and then we took uh, um, another AK-47 and it made three little hand trowels. I'm convinced that one of the things that we need a movement of is a movement of life, of Christians and others who are committed to, to this idea that every person is precious. I live in Philadelphia, which we have uh, almost one homicide a day. And there's been an, an, a powerful movement where people of faith and conscience have gathered outside of gun shops and uh, began vigiling, began raising questions about where the kids get the guns. And that started for me not as an issue, uh, a debate around gun control, but it started when a 19-year-old kid was killed on my front porch. And that was what stirred in me this idea that, wow, what, do, what is God's dream for the world? I'm pretty sure it's not for one kid to die every day in Philadelphia of gun violence and not 10,000 people in the United States to die of homicides and gun violence. So let's, let's reimagine our country. Let's reimagine the world because it doesn't have to stay the way it is.